Well, holy, 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 thou art worthy, Lord God Almighty, to receive glory and power and, and dominion and, and, and might. He, he is worthy. He is ahraba soba de halabosuko. Um, somebody once said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, glory to God. So we just want to give God the praise and the glory and the honor. I want to read you real quick a scripture uh, I found. Um, they was talking about the last night in Bible study. But uh, they was talking about the prophet Habakkuk. It was found in Habakkuk chapter 3. Very familiar passage of scripture found in Habakkuk chapter 3. But when I started looking at it and studying the reason why I, we hear what, it, what what the scripture said, and some scriptures are just so famous that we already know. If I start reading the scripture, as soon as I start reading these scriptures, you're going to know if it's been around church any length of time, then you already know what I'm getting ready to say after I start reading the first verses of these scriptures. But and when I searched out the scriptures and so back in, I found out that he's saying what he's saying uh, for a particular reason. The people of Israel, Judah, they're getting ready to go into captivity. They're getting ready to be a, a captive. You know what that is? Okay, slavery, imprisonment. Uh, another nation is getting ready to rule over them. And Habakkuk begins to say, well, in chapter 3, he says, Yet, he says, although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines, the labor of the olive shall fail, and the fields that shall yield no meat, the flock shall be cut off from the field, from the fold, and there shall be no more herd in the stalls. Yet will I rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord is my strength. He will make my feet like hinds feet, and he will make me to walk upon high places to the chief singer on thy string instruments. He getting ready to get his praise on, not because there's a Cadillac coming not because there's a Bentley in the driveway. Not because somebody, uh, some woman don't gave him the number or something. No, nope. he said, I'm going to rejoice no matter what's going on. I know we're getting ready to go into captivity. And I know we're caught up in different types of sins. I know that we're getting ready to get punished. But listen, yet will I rejoice. I will joy in the God of my salvation. How many folks can say that? Because sometimes we only rejoice in the Lord when things are going good. But here's a man of God who decided, I'm going to praise God anyway. You will really, you see, you will have a better lifestyle and you will have a better attitude as a man and a woman of God when you decide, I'm going to praise God anyhow. And I put something on Facebook uh, a few minutes ago. That, um, because I've been thinking about a lot of things, Sheba Koba, and when you start realizing where you have, um, glory to God, went astray at, hallelujah, you start thinking, well, where do I go wrong? Where do I go astray in some things? And, 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 and I put this on Facebook, um, for, for, for some to see, um, it says, it's time to start smiling again living and believing again and if anyone has a problem with that that's between you and God because there are some people out there that have a problem with you magnifying and worshiping the Lord and spirit and in truth, I feel the Holy Spirit of God right now. I feel God in my spirit right now. I want to share with you a testimony. It's not really my testimony. But it was a testimony. I was, that was ridiculous. I, I, when I see people driving crazy, I just, I just that's one of my pet peeves of in Michigan. These folks know they be doing some driving. That's all I got to say. But um, uh, one of the things that last night they were sharing about, so that I ain't going to share the woman's whole testimony. Glory to God. I'm not going to share her whole testimony. Uh-huh. But she said something to the point, and I'm going to share the whole thing, is that, you know how men sometimes, they, uh, I know ladies, ladies, you know how men sometimes, they wanted to say, well, they're your friend. Mm -hmm. But deep down, they want to be more than that. And she, she was kind of speaking on how this one particular friend, you know, that's a male, um, don't send her, uh, um, 
she he sent her a picture. I'm not gonna say what the picture was. I'll just let your imagination go. But he sent her a picture of something. And he told her something to this fact is, oh, you're gonna turn down this? <laughs> you're gonna turn down this? You get what I'm saying? So in last night in the Bible says she shared a testimony. Last night in the Bible says as the teacher was teaching, she was talking about Moses and how Moses and the different plagues and different things that were going on in Egypt. And one of the things about Moses that I think people don't understand is that Moses had everything at his fingertips he could want. He had women if he wanted, gold, fame, fortune, prestige. He had the kingdom. He, he, he had it all right there if he wanted it. But the reason why Moses did not take it because Moses had decided that he much rather suffer affliction with the people of God rather than have the pleasures of sin for a season. Now, there is pleasure in sin, but it's only for a season. That's why you that's why you always find folks talking about, well, I just fell out of love. Or I just got tired of him. Uh, I just got tired of her. No, 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 that season is up. I saw Rabbi. So the Bible says something very interesting about sufferings. The Bible says something that was the, the Bible says that I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. That means that the pleasures of sin are temporary, but the glory is forever.